to save the bumper cover I ran last year uh, and it hit the wall in Nashville on the big track it's still in relatively usable shape <laughs> say usable um, you know it, is it gonna be perfect no but uh, if we can use it we're gonna use it uh, Penny saved is a penny earned. So, anyways, uh, I got it. I, I clamped it up there to start. Uh, I beat out the fenders a little bit. I'm just going to use the same fenders and stuff as I did last year. Kind of beat the fenders out. That way I could see where it made it up. Because last year I had a big gap here. I filled in with, or last couple years I filled in with sheet metal there. Because how my front bumper bars ran. Right now I have an opportunity to, I could probably sit it all in there and, and not have a gap issue. Um, to be able to set the bumper back. Or a minimum, very minimal amount of gap there, um, which I'm going to kind of play with and see which way it goes better. Uh, I don't know at the moment, so uh, follow along and we'll, we'll see how it goes. All right, so basically, uh, got a big dent here, and this is actually not even from the wall. It was from Sports Drone. Uh, I think I kind of hit the 12 or the 50, I think it was a 12 car, um, hit them in one of the turns, trying to move them, try to get them going, uh, so we're going to heat it up, try to get the, make the plastic flexible, and Till it cools. Simple as that. Yes, it is gone. It does have two holes. I think these are holes. I think they're holes from the wall at Nashville. I think they have some like little squares. They're awfully perfect, and I know I didn't have any square tubing right there. It has to be from the wall at Nashville. They're like perfectly, almost evenly spaced apart. So I'm gonna leave them. <laughs> um, you know, it's just it's a uh, crazy how some things happen. So. Oh. I said we're going. We just gonna make it work. We'll draw out these couple of rivets on the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up backing all this with aluminum. That way it still has some give. But all right, so figured out why the drill is taking a bit longer than normal on the. Other rivets I drilled out already. It was basically dead. Huh. Uh, that might or might not help. All right. So what I did is I took a piece of aluminum. I kind of cut it about that length, about that size. Kind of halfway bent it to where it kind of meets meet the contours. Found the first hole. Drilled the hole. I'm going to rivet it in so I got the first one in place. And I can build from there. It's not perfect. I need to get the trash can over here. Time to drill a hole for the second one.
Pop the second one in here. Four more spots. One didn't take. All right, so one more. All right, so what I did this time, I don't normally do this. I don't, like, I don't really like doing this, but I cut out brackets to go on the outside of the fenders. I, did, I don't normally do this anymore. I do it on the rear bumpers. I don't know. It's just a preference thing. That clearly is already out. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of a mess. Uh... So I was going to what, but it doesn't matter. Um, so I'm going to go, and I'll rivet a couple spots on the body. That way I have holes already done. So we'll just do holes all the way up the side, all the way up the bracket. That way when I hang it up to the car, I can enable where the bracket's going to go. Pretty easy. All right, so I got the other side, you know, we've only got a couple rivets in it. So I'm using these clamps, I like these clamps a lot, to hold the bumper where I want it. Uh, it's going to be back a little bit further than it was before. Once again, that's okay, because I thought my nose was out a little bit too far anyway. So I already drilled this hole. I'm gonna run this rivet off in it. Rivet the hole.
good to go. So here it is all together. Um, I took the decals off because the paint is flaking like crazy because how hard it hit the wall, it flexed everything. And it wasn't, um, it just wasn't sticking. I didn't prep it, I guess, good enough. I used the normal prep process you're supposed to use, but it didn't didn't stick. But, well, let me rephrase it. It stuck for two years till I hit the wall in Nashville. <laughs> um, beat out the hood. I'm going to end up reusing this hood. I'm going to get some hood pin surrounds to fix the holes where they ripped out. And yeah, so um, got it all mounted. Trimmed around the wheel opening molding, wheel openings. Like I said, I, I moved the bumper back a little bit. Uh, before there was probably a good gap like that. Now it's just this little bitty gap. I uh, moved the whole bumper back. It was out a little bit further than I would like to originally. So, yeah. Anyways, um, got that done. And then I proceeded to attach the mirror. This is the first mirror I've ran other than the little spot mirror that I ran at Nashville for one lap. These are the first mirrors I have ran since 20... Uh... Let me phrase that. I've never ran mirrors. No, I ran a little mirror in the neon the first year. Uh, first mirror since 2017. So, uh, yeah, anyways, really appreciate everybody. Uh, yeah, thanks for uh, watching, and we'll see y'all next time.